Well, here is the famous Graham Phillips. He is making uh, a lot of videos, which are well known in uh, also the Netherlands now, so that's very good. <laughs> and uh, I mentioned him in an article recently that we are the only journalists who are actually from the West being here in uh, yeah, Ukraine in the Donbass. So how did you came to Donbass? Are you here a long time already now? I've been coming to the bass since 2014 yeah. and reporting from here. And so this time we're all here today. There's obviously yourselves from the Netherlands. We've joined from Serbia, from France, uh, from America. So it's exciting that uh, we're all given the opportunity to be here in America, this historic time to film our own reportage, hopefully reach our audience back home in the Netherlands and uh, in the UK in my case, all over the world, for people to see what's really going on, the reality <laughs> of uh, the bass. And how are the reactions in the UK? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it, in the UK, you know? they have a political position similar to your country, the Netherlands, yeah. Uh, yeah. which is one polemic. And so obviously if you're uh -huh. taking another position or if you're showing something else, then immediately the uh, attempt is to discredit you, to castigate and brand you as you know, mm -hmm. Kremlin or what, Putin, propagandists, etc. So that's a, a standard thing that we're all aware of, and that's I'm sure why many of us are here to make our own contribution in the information war. Did you attempt to overcome that. Exactly, the same as in the Netherlands, as you mentioned. Do you also have a problem going back to the UK, or is it sure, fairly I easy? Done, I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't well, the people have mentioned The Hague to me a few times. <laughs> yes, I know. So that's why I, for instance, uh, have difficulties to go back, because we have the international court in The Hague. And also people like me or you, we are branded as the st state enemy, exactly. enemy of the state now. So uh, it's a time that anything can happen, that they can say anything, make any charge, and then uh, obviously Excellent. things can take on a course which would have been something we could have contemplated uh, until quite recently. We've seen now the, the realms of uh, the information, the, uh, not only the war, but the actual persecution against anyone who attempts to, uh, to show something else that doesn't align, that doesn't conform. All the measures that they will use, that there'll be uh, threats, attempts to uh, concoct, to come up with uh, charges, to obviously, you know, as we mentioned, the Hague, all of these things that um, were once seemed uh, the realms of some sort of Orwellian nightmare, there's now, mm -hmm. that's the reality that we live in. So. Exactly, and uh, you intend to stay here? Last question for I'll you. I'll go back to the UK when I'm finished, but for now, you know, there's lots to do here, it's just the summer, Mariupol is. Uh, uh -huh. Very, it's all happening around us. So it's a, a time in history. It's a moment in history to be here. And so, as you know, for yourself, there's a lot of work to do. And so, we'll uh, we'll go home and show back to our countries when the job's done. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Graham, and uh, we will meet again somehow here in Donbas. Oh, thanks. Well,